Chicago postal workers are increasingly being attacked by armed robbers who want to take their master keys. That's according to authorities. Union leaders say it's become near daily occurrence. One Chicago mail carrier who wanted to remain anonymous for her own safety shared her own terrifying experience being robbed at gunpoint. This was over the weekend. Watch. Oh, my God. My life is just gone because this is scary. This is real. Two guys jump out of a vehicle and say, give me those keys. It's like our lives is being threatened to go and be safe to deliver the mail. Wow, Chicago Alderman and former Chicago police officer Anthony Napolitano joining us live here. Alderman, thanks so much for coming on. I'd love to have your reaction to this. Postal workers now suddenly becoming a target. And we forget the postal workers, they have these master keys, right? They can get into certain areas. They can get into the entire mail bin. They can get into condos if they need to. What's happening here? Yes, yeah, Chicago's become uh, the land of the lost right now. There's, there's, there's no fight against crime, especially in our judicial system. So these are just crimes of opportunities. Uh, criminal elements here in Chicago are looking for any avenue um, to earn a buck because they know they're not going to serve any time in, in, in jail or in prison. Uh, and they know that our state legislators and our, our, our city legislators actually as well aren't putting any uh, emphasis on fighting crime. Our, our state's attorney is a defense attorney. And if you look at the agenda behind our state's attorney, the same people that support our state's attorney are the ones that are, are putting are slating judges. So it's like we're agenda law right now. It's based on a political agenda. And these these uh, these postal workers are stuck in the middle. It's not just the postal workers, too. It's every civilian in the city of Chicago. You, you can't go out to your car without your head on a swivel right now. You got to watch out for being carjacked. If this, it's not the first time it happened just recently. An Evanston man was charged, I believe, here with robbing two USPS postal carriers uh, that reported there on your screen. One day earlier, two offenders stole from another USPS carrier. In both instances, the offenders swiped the postal carrier's arrow keys, which allow ac access to secured vestibules and common areas of condos and apartment buildings. Um, what can be done? You have experience in law enforcement. How do you deter criminals from this? Obviously, you have crime in general, but it seems, again, as of recent, as of late, there are multiple um, targeting instances of uh, postal workers. Yeah. Uh, I think in Chicago, it's, there's too much of a coddling of criminals here. Um, they were hoping to save these criminals and giving them their 15th chances. I think what's got to happen here in Chicago is criminals need a a punch in the teeth. You know, if we can't do it through our state's attorney's office, I, I've submitted uh, legislation to go after criminals with our own Chicago ordinances. We go hit them in the pocket. You know, we might not be able to put them in, in prison for an extended period of time through our state's attorney's office. But we could do it on the municipal level as well as we could hit, hit them with financial uh, uh, burdens that's going to hurt them. You know, if, if it's the old saying, if, if you tell your kid that that stove's hot, don't touch it, and they touch it and burn themselves, they're going to learn their lesson. We don't have that with criminals here. Criminals commit crimes. They're out on ankle monitors committing multiple crimes over and over again. Yeah. If you're not going to, if, if you're not hard on crime, if you don't have a judicial system that's going to put criminals away, this is, this is your result. This is, this is common sense, uh, the ability to fight this. Just go after them, punch them right in the teeth. Yeah, we continue to talk about Chicago crime, and, and now this story comes out as well. Um, I wanted to take you, if I can, back to the breaking news that we brought to viewers right off the top of this show. I'm sure you heard officers shot and killed. Now this in Connecticut, in Bristol. Two officers killed, one seriously injured. We're still awaiting a word on that. But police sources are saying this. Again, Newsmax has not confirmed, so to be clear on that. But police sources are saying that this was an ambush, that a man placed a fake 911 call uh, as a disturbance at his home, then carried out an apparent ambush attack on the officers with an AR-15 style rifle there. Suspect reportedly shot dead there at the scene. Um, but again, shooting up police officers, killing police officers in what is right now believed to be an ambush. Again, a fake 911 call just to bring them to the home only to kill them. Your thoughts on that with your background in law enforcement? Yeah, you know, the way you're telling your story, the story right now, it's almost like it's a surprise if it's an ambush. And, and there is no surprise with this anymore. This is happening constantly to officers across the country. Um, there's, there's a mark on their backs. This was also part of a political movement. It was a defund the police movement. 
and it's it's showing a, a disdain for law enforcement and giving people an emboldening uh, attitude to go after uh, after officers. You know, it's this is happening constantly in the city of Chicago right now. You're seeing officers ambushed. You're seeing officers set up. Uh, you're seeing them uh, that it, just in situations that you've never seen before because we're not hard on the criminal. We're giving them the advantage and we're evening the playing field for them. And it's this is, uh, you know, my prayers go out to those officers and their families that, that they're going to be okay and they're going to make it through this. Yeah, one of them leaves behind children, a wife. Uh, difficult time, still a lot to learn on that scene. We appreciate you weighing in. Alderman Anthony DiPolitano, thank you for your time, Alderman. Thank you.